Brian. My name is Dr. James Marvel. I do orthopedic surgery. I've been doing it for 40 years. Uh, somewhere along the line, I learned how to uh, check on compartment pressures without using a wick catheter or any of the fancy machines. Uh, I just use a spinal manometer and some saline, and it seems to have been a very uh, useful and accurate method of checking compartment pressures, uh, say in the uh, compartments of the leg, especially after trauma. Excellent. So Dr. Marvel, uh, I see that you have some uh, uh, equipment here, so can you just kind of go over equipment that you're going to be using? Yes. Uh, the basic thing is just a uh, tray, a spinal manometer tray for doing spinal uh, pressures. I use, uh, generally when I'm checking a trauma patient, I'll use an 18 uh, gauge needle that we insert into the compartment and uh, we'll just use some saline. Uh, we'll fill the uh, column uh, with our manometer and then we'll uh, let that uh, saline flow into the compartment and that will give us our compartment pressure. It's a very simple procedure and uh, Again, it seems to be very uh, useful and accurate in measuring these compartment pressures. Um, I will look at uh, the compartment. Usually, a uh, normal compartment is going to be less than 20 uh, centimeters of water. And uh, if you get over 30, you start wondering a little bit. Uh, anything over about 38, which is what I understood was a critical level, uh, those people really need surgery. And. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, recommend doing fasciotomies on people like that. All right, so I think now we'll just uh, do a little hands-on uh, demonstration of how this works and uh, check my compartment pressures. All right. All right.